Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we are sharing the news of the passing of Coronation Street actors. As a part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact on our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 20. Pat Phoenix, celebrated for her role as Elsie Tanner on Coronation Street, passed away on September 17, 1986, at 62, after a battle with lung cancer. She became one of British television's first icons, enchanting viewers from 1960 to 1984 with her spirited portrayal. Phoenix's character became so iconic that Prime Minister James Callaghan once called her the prettiest thing on television. Despite early life challenges in Lancashire, Phoenix found her calling in acting, achieving fame as Elsie Tanner, a role that made her a household name. Beyond her screen presence, Phoenix led a vibrant personal life, culminating in her marriage to Anthony Booth shortly before her death. Known for her deep Catholic faith and support for the Labour Party, she also excelled as an author and businesswoman. Phoenix's legacy is celebrated, not only in the hearts of her fans, but also through a blue plaque at Granada Studios, marking her indelible impact on British television and culture. Her life, marked by passion both on and off the screen, continues to inspire. Number 19. Peter Baldwin, renowned in the American entertainment industry, died on November 19, 2017, at age 86 in Pebble Beach, California. He began his career as a contract player at Paramount Studios, making a mark in films like Stalag 17 before transitioning to television, where he appeared in shows such as Perry Mason. Baldwin became most celebrated for his directorial work on iconic series like The Brady Bunch and The Partridge Family, contributing significantly to the golden age of American sitcoms. His storytelling prowess earned him an Emmy in 1988 for directing The Wonder Years. Later he directed episodes of Family Ties and Even Stevens, continuing to shape the television landscape. Baldwin was admired for his professional contributions and personal warmth, leaving a lasting impact on American TV. His legacy endures in the memorable moments he crafted for the screen, beloved by audiences nationwide. Number 18. Johnny Briggs, celebrated for his iconic role as Mike Baldwin in Coronation Street, passed away at 85 on February 28, 2021, after a long illness. His memorable portrayal from 1976 to 2006 made him a cornerstone of the show, featuring in over three decades and 2,348 episodes. Born in London in 1935, Briggs was evacuated during World War II and later trained at the Italia Conti Academy. His acting career was diverse, spanning early roles in Quartet, 1948, appearances in the Carry On series, and significant parts in theater and television. Briggs's dedication to his craft was acknowledged with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2006 British Soap Awards and an MBE in 2007. His final scenes on Coronation Street in 2006 left a lasting impression, marking the end of an era. Off-screen, Briggs enjoyed golf and split his time between Somerset and Florida. His work, especially as Mike Baldwin, has made a lasting impact on British television and his fans. Number 17, for Hughes, beloved for his roles as Eddie Yates in Coronation Street and Onslow in Keeping Up Appearances, died at 68 on July 27, 2012, following a battle with prostate cancer. His career, spanning over four decades, made him a staple of British television and theatre. Born in Wallasey and raised in Liverpool, Hughes's acting career began in repertory theatre, leading to his roles in West End productions. He also voiced Paul McCartney in Yellow Submarine and appeared in series like The Royal Family and Heartbeat. Hughes's charm and wit endeared him to audiences, while his personal interests included folk rock, sailing, and supporting Everton Football Club. Diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1996, he retired in 2010. In 2009, he was named Deputy Lieutenant of the Isle of Wight, acknowledging his contributions beyond acting. Hughes's legacy is marked by his warmth, humor, and memorable performances, resonating with fans and leaving a lasting impact on British culture. Number 16. Betty Driver, the cherished British actress and singer known for her 42-year role as Betty Williams on Coronation Street, passed away at 91 on October 15, 2011. Born in Leicester in 1920, 
Her early career in musical films showcased her versatile talent. Driver became a household name through her endearing performance on Coronation Street from 1969, making Betty's Hot Pot a national treasure and the Rover's Return In, a symbol of warmth and community. Awarded an MBE in 2000 for her contributions to entertainment, Driver's journey was marked by her resilience against personal challenges and her mother's initial ambitions for her. Her legacy is a blend of laughter, song, and perseverance, inspiring future generations and leaving an indelible mark on British culture and television. Number 15. Roy Barraclough, renowned for his role as Alec Gilroy in Coronation Street and as part of the comedy duo Sissy and Ada with Les Dawson, died at 81 on June 1, 2017, after a brief illness. Starting his career outside of showbiz as a draftsman, Barraclough's comedic and acting talents soon led him to the stage and screen, marking the beginning of a varied and impactful career. His performance as Alec Gilroy stood out for its blend of humor and sleaziness, while his partnership with Dawson left a lasting legacy of laughter. Beyond sitcoms and comedy, Barraclough's career included roles in dramas like Last Tango in Halifax and appearances in musical theater, showcasing his versatile talent. Awarded an MBE in 2006 for his services to drama and charity, Barraclough's work touched many, contributing significantly to British entertainment. His legacy endures through the joy and laughter he brought to audiences, embodying a life dedicated to the art of performance. Number 14. Maggie Jones, beloved for her role as Blanche Hunt in Coronation Street, died at 75 on December 2, 2009. Joining the show in 1974 and becoming a staple by the late 90s, Jones won Best Comedy Performance at the British Soap Awards in 2005 and 2008. Her acting career started at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, leading to West End roles and her first Coronation Street appearance in 1961. Known for her sharp wit as Blanche, Jones had a rich television career, including roles in The Foresight Saga, Sam, and Sense and Sensibility. Returning to Coronation Street in 1996, she became a regular in 1999, endearing herself with her character's acerbic humor. A devout Roman Catholic, she was married to John Oliver Stansfield until his death. Despite health challenges, Jones's commitment to her craft shone through, leaving a lasting legacy in British television. Number 13. Bill Tarmy, famed for his role as Jack Duckworth in Coronation Street, died of a heart attack on November 9, 2012 at 71, in Tenerife. Tarmy's three-decade portrayal from 1981 to 2010 won hearts with Duckworth's wit and warmth. Born in Manchester, Tarmy faced early hardships, including personal health challenges. His journey into acting was complemented by construction work, leading to his beloved role on British TV. Tarmy's impact on Coronation Street and his 2010 departure were deeply felt by fans and the Weatherfield community. He also enjoyed a successful music career and shared his story in the autobiography, Jack Duckworth and Me in 2010, Tarmy's life reflected resilience and talent, leaving a lasting legacy in British entertainment. Survived by his wife Ali and their children, Tarmy's contribution to the arts and his memorable moments on screen continue to resonate. Number 12. Mark Eden, known for his role as Alan Bradley in Coronation Street, died at 92 on January 1, 2021, after a battle with Alzheimer's. Born in London in 1928, his extensive acting career covered television, film, and theater. Before his iconic soap role, he performed in repertory theater and appeared in notable productions like the Doctor Who serial Marco Polo, Quatermass and The Pit, and as Inspector Parker in the Lord Peter Whimsey TV stories. Eden's dramatic exit from Coronation Street in 1989 became one of the show's most unforgettable moments. His diverse career also included stage performances, radio plays, and a musical about the Beach Boys. His 2010 autobiography, Who's Going to Look at You, details his six-decade-long career. Eden was married three times, finding lasting love with Coronation Street co-star Sue Nichols. His legacy endures through his significant contributions to British theater and television, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Number 11. Irene Sutcliffe, celebrated for her role as Maggie Clegg in Coronation Street from 1968 to 1975, died on May 3, 2019, at 94. Born in Lancashire, her passion led her to the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, launching a career over six decades long. Sutcliffe's debut in 1953 on BBC's Sunday Night Theatre paved the way to her memorable stint on Coronation Street, where she became a beloved figure. 
Her acting prowess extended beyond TV to stage and screen, demonstrating her versatility and dedication. Notably, her narration of Pride and Prejudice earned her a finalist spot for the 1999 Audi Award for Best Female Narrator, highlighting her talent in bringing literature to life. Sutcliffe's legacy in British drama and her significant contributions to Coronation Street remain cherished by fans and peers, ensuring her work continues to inspire future generations. Number 10. Jack Howarth, iconic for his role as Albert Tatluck in Coronation Street, died at 88 on March 31, 1984, from kidney failure and pneumonia. With a 76-year acting career, he was Britain's oldest working actor at his death. Born in Rochdale, Lancashire, Howarth's life was deeply rooted in theater, managing his own theater post, World War I, and appearing in films like The Man in the White Suit. His debut in Coronation Street in 1960 as Albert Tatlock secured his place in entertainment history, contributing to a record in the Guinness Book of Records for his long career. Married for 55 years to Sarah E. Betty Murgatroyd, Howarth was also known for his love of travel and art. Spending his final years in North Wales, he maintained connections to Manchester for filming and kept a London flat. Howarth's legacy spans across British theatre and television, celebrated for both his enduring career and beloved character portrayal, leaving a profound impact on British entertainment. Number 9. Barbara Young, an esteemed English actress with a career spanning six decades, died at 92 on April 27, 2023, in Cambridge. Born in Brighouse, her acting journey began at Bradford Civic Theatre, leading to significant roles including Agrippina and I, Claudius and Miss Scatchard in the film Jane Eyre. Young was particularly loved for her portrayal of Sadie Hargreaves Lloyd in Family Affairs from 1998 to 2005, capturing hearts with her authentic performances. Her diverse career also saw her in Coronation Street, Midsummer Murders, and Last of the Summer Wine, showcasing her versatility. Making her West End debut in 1956, Young contributed profoundly to theater as well. Married to screenwriter Jack Pullman, she was cherished for her devotion to family and her craft. Young's last appearance was in Doctors in 2016, concluding a remarkable career that left a lasting impact on British television and theater. Number 8. Ian Rogerson, celebrated for playing Harry Flagg in Coronation Street, died on October 13th at 56. His tenure from 2002 to 2004 as the diligent Rover's return employee left a lasting impression. Rogerson's career spanned across TV series like The Bill, Casualty, and Doctors, and films including Mike Bassett, England Manager. Harry Flagg, remembered for his dedication and charm, was a fan favorite, especially for his unreciprocated love for Eileen Grimshaw and his eventual departure to travel Europe. This role highlighted Rogerson's ability to infuse his characters with depth and relatability. His contribution to British television, particularly through his memorable role on Coronation Street, endears him to fans and colleagues, ensuring his legacy endures. Number 7. Violet Carson, famed for her role as Ina Sharples in Coronation Street, died from heart failure on December 26, 1983, at 85. Starting as a cinema pianist, she became a cherished radio and stage figure before her iconic TV role. As Ina Sharples from 1960 to 1980, Carson became a symbol of integrity and strength, winning ITV Personality of the Year in 1962. Her work extended beyond the soap, contributing significantly to BBC Radio and Theatre. Known for her soprano voice, Carson also released music recordings. Retiring in 1980, she remained out of the public eye until her passing, leaving a legacy as one of British Soap's most memorable characters. Number 6. Johnny Lees, a celebrated actor known for his roles in British soap operas, died at 78 on October 25, 2020, after contracting COVID-19. His nearly four-decade career featured him as Harry Clayton in Coronation Street in 1985 and Ned Glover in Emmerdale from 1994 to 1999, briefly returning in 2000. Starting his TV career in 1982 with Open All Hours, Lees showcased his versatility across various roles, including appearances in Last of the Summer Wine, Juliet Bravo, and All Creatures Great and Small. His work extended to Heartbeat, the League of Gentlemen, Phoenix Knights, Doctors, and the film Blow Dry in 2001. Lee's enduring presence on television, particularly in Emmerdale, made him a beloved figure in British homes. 
His passing during the pandemic marked a significant loss for fans and colleagues, leaving behind a legacy of memorable characters and a significant impact on British TV drama. Number 5. Peter Armitage, celebrated for his role as Bill Webster in Coronation Street, died of a heart attack at 79 on November 30, 2018. His career, spanning four decades, made him a beloved figure in British television. Born in Skipton, Yorkshire, Armitage overcame early personal challenges, fueling his passion for acting, which led him to the East 15 Acting School. His stints on Coronation Street in the mid-80s, late 90s, and from 2006 to 2011 highlighted his talent. Armitage also appeared in The Sweeney, The Professionals, and Jack the Ripper. Beyond TV, he was dedicated to Yorkshire's amateur theatre, earning an MBE in 2011 for his contributions. Remembered for his role in Brassed Off on stage, Armitage's legacy extends through his significant contributions to the arts and his memorable performances. His passing is mourned by fans and colleagues, leaving behind a lasting impact on British entertainment. Number 4. Frank Mills, celebrated for his role as Billy Williams in Coronation Street, passed away in February 2021 at 93. Born in London in 1927, Mills's extensive career showcased his versatility across numerous memorable roles. Beyond Coronation Street, his work in the 1970s included roles in The Treasure of Abbot Thomas, The Sweeney, and Crown Court. His talent spanned into the 1980s and beyond, with appearances in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and Miss Marple, A Pocket Full of Rye, as well as in Midsummer Murders and Foyle's War. Mills also starred in Big Deal, highlighting his range in a leading role. His contributions to British television, across various genres and decades, made a significant impact on the industry and its audiences. Mills's passing marks a significant loss, but his legacy of dedication and versatility remains an inspiration for future generations in the acting community. Number 3. Alan Igbon, a renowned British actor, passed away on December 9, 2020, at 68 from pneumonia. Born in Manchester to a Nigerian father and Irish mother, Igbon combined his passion for music and art with a successful amateur boxing career before transitioning to acting. Training in London, he made his stage debut in 1974, quickly moving to impactful screen roles such as Meekin in Scum, Angadi in The Professionals, and Logo in Boys from the Black Stuff, reflecting the unemployment crisis of the early 1980s in Liverpool. His versatility shown in The Front Line, Water, Doctors, and Brookside, making him a significant figure in British television. His role as Tony Stewart in Coronation Street marked a notable point in his career. Igbon's work, celebrated for addressing societal issues, leaves a lasting legacy. Survived by his family, Igbon's pioneering contributions to television will be remembered and cherished. Number 2. Helene Palmer, best known as Ida Clough on Coronation Street, died at 82 on January 5, 2011, after a brief illness. Starting in 1978, her over two-decade role as the feisty factory machinist made her a beloved figure on the show. Before TV, Palmer was a fixture in British nightclubs in the 60s and 70s, mingling with famous actors and comedians. On Coronation Street, she became central to many storylines, working alongside characters like Ivy Tilsley and Vera Duckworth. Her career also included roles in Days of Hope, Spend, 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 and Yanks, with her final act in Stan the Man. Palmer, alongside her husband Alex, retired to Sewerby, becoming cherished community members. Her portrayal of Ida Clough left a lasting legacy on British TV, remembered for her humor and strength. Survived by her husband, Palmer's contributions to entertainment continue to be celebrated. Number 1. Tony Warren, the visionary creator of Coronation Street, passed away in 2016. Born in Harrogate and raised in Pendlebury, Lancashire, his early passion for acting and storytelling led to the creation of a show that would redefine British television. Debuting in 1960, Coronation Street offered a glimpse into the lives of a northern English community, becoming a beloved national institution. Warren's career extended beyond this landmark series to stage, radio, and novels, earning him accolades such as the 2000 British Soap Awards, Special Achievement Award, and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Royal Television Society. In 1994, he was appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire for his dramatic contributions. Openly gay during a time of widespread prejudice, and a survivor of addiction, Warren's resilience and creativity left a profound legacy. 
Celebrated for his contributions to British culture, his innovative work continues to inspire. Did you know that the actress from Harry Potter passed away recently? Check out our previous video for more about legends who passed away. Click now to see our recent episode and don't forget to like this video to support us. Thank you.